Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I have a ginormous book haul for y'all. There's a lot of things going on in today's video. We have books to haul, we have merch to haul, we have bookish items to haul. I'm really excited. So let's dive on into these. Before I actually get started with the rest of the video, I want to make a little announcement. Um, I plan on doing a, a Q&A very soon. I have not done a Q&A, I think since I hit like a thousand subscribers, uh, my second year of booktube, I don't remember. Um, but I am very close to 4K, so thank y'all so much. Y'all are so, so sweet and amazing and I love you. Um, and so once I hit 4K, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So be sure to leave your comments in the comment section down below. I'm going to leave a comment down there and you can just reply to that with your question um, or you can just put it in the comment section anywhere. I don't really mind. Um, but I will be answering those in a q and I will be doing very, very soon to celebrate 4K. Um, and also uh, I may or may not be announcing something very special in that video as well. So stay tuned. So let's get started with the things I'm going to haul. First, I want to haul what I'm wearing currently. So this is Jen from the Book Refuge, one of her merch items. I purchased this one by myself. I love this color blue so much because it matches my eyes. Uh, so I had to, I had to get this. It is big and comfy and just amazing. I love it. Please pick up one of Jen's merch items if you haven't yet. They are gorgeous. Um, and then, oops, my water bottle fell, whoops. Um, and then I ended up winning her giveaway. She, whenever she did her merch launch, she ended up doing a giveaway. She picked three giveaway winners. I was the first winner. So I got to pick basically almost anything. I got to pick anything on the site. So I have never, I haven't owned like a hoodie hoodie in forever. I love crew neck sweaters. I basically live in them. I own many of them, but I don't own a hoodie like with a hood and pockets. So I'm like, this is perfect. And so I ordered this hoodie from Jen. This says proud romance reader. It's a little dirty because um, I've been loving it and wearing it and maybe sleeping in it because I love it. Um, but yeah, it's really big. I got XLs in both of these because I just love to be in comfy clothes and they're big clothes and I I love them. So if you haven't yet, go check out Jen. I will link her channel down below. And if I remember, I will also link her merch, merch site down below too. Um, I love these. They're really comfy and amazing and I love Jen, so please go check her out. Next, we're going to be talking about something very exciting. Um, so my lovely friend, Spirit, I've been her friend for quite a long time. I love her. I will link her YouTube channel down below. She has a YouTube channel that I adore and she has an amazing booktube channel and I'm going to be linking down below if I remember. I'm horrible about linking stuff, but I'm gonna try to remember. Linking her Etsy shop because I am now a permanent affiliate for her Etsy shop. Her Etsy shop name is kind of like a tongue twister for me. World in, world in words bookmarks. There you go. I think the alliteration is what gets me sometimes. <laughs> Um, but she makes bookish bookmarks. I love bookmarks so much and she's kind of like living my dream right now because I want to make bookmarks like these but um my iPad is shattered and cracked and is one of the lowest generation iPads so it doesn't compute with a certain uh, art software that I really want so I have to wait to buy a new one but anyway she's living my dream right now and she is amazing so she makes bookish bookmarks. She sent me two to share with you. Um, first is this one that I, I love. I love both of these, okay? Uh, this one is a Lizzie and Darcy one that says, I love you most ardently. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. They are laminated, by the way. It's just white on the back, but isn't that just gorgeous? I love that. And the one I needed the most, obviously, was Edward and Bella that says, a thousand years. Like, look, oh, it's kind of washed out, I'm sorry, because of the, the light, but y'all, that's gorgeous. If you can zoom in like without it getting washed out, there's even like details on her dress and it's beautiful. Like, hello. Um, so be sure to go see uh, Spirit's Etsy shop down below. You can use the code Avery10. Make sure you're spelling Avery correctly, y'all. A-V-E-R-I-E 10 um, <laughs> to get 10% off of your purchase. I loved these. She has so many. I believe she has a Harry Styles one, Olivia Rodrigo. She has a Step Back Saturday bookmark. She has so many different bookmarks. She has a Taylor Swift one. So go check it out. I love these so much. So 
Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, and be sure to use my code to get a discount on your order. Okay, first, I really wanna talk about um, a book that I purchased recently um, that I kind of like broke my book buying rule for because I just needed to buy a book for this author. Um, and I wanna talk about her for a second. So I ended up buying Veins of Magic by Emma Hamm. If you don't know, I adore Emma Hamm. She is the author of Heart of the Fae, which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling all about Fae. This is the second book in that series. I have read it and I loved it. I follow Emma Hamm on Instagram. Well, I follow her on every platform that I also have, um, but she's mainly active on her Instagram and I follow her email Email newsletter um, and if you do not know Emma Ham well I love her books by the way go check her out regardless of what I'm about to say but um, she was recently diagnosed with melanoma and um, many people are asking her how to help her support her because she has many hospital bills to pay for unfortunately and so um, she basically just said like I don't feel comfortable like making a GoFundMe or anything like that. But if you wanna support me um, in any way, just buy my books, be interested in my books, download my books, pre-order my books, whatever the case. And so I decided to support her and hopefully contribute to those medical bills by buying one of her books for my collection because I do love this book. I wanna read the rest of the series and I, I needed this for my collection anyway, so this was the perfect excuse. So if you have not checked out Emma Ham yet, please do. I really recommend reading Heart of the Fae, Beauty and the Beast retelling dealing with Faye and a um, outcasted prince. And um, I love that one. I love it so much. So this is like the sequel. This is the same couple. This is following the same couple. Um, but the first one is a standalone. It's like a standalone. This is just like an extra little story about them. Like that takes place after book one. But book one does not end on a cliffhanger or anything. Like it wraps up. So I really like her books. I believe all of them are on Kindle Unlimited. So please go check her out. She gets money even from you getting a book off of Kindle Unlimited, but you gotta make sure to read it though. I think my dad just started yard work outside. I am so sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> um, so please go check out Emma Ham. In any way, if you wanna support her, just read one of her books, read one of her books. So we're gonna talk about the books that were sent to me. Um, first, I have this book, it's called Prism by David Kay. So the author here, David, he actually reached out to me through email. My email is always linked down below um, if you would like to send me a book or anything like that to review a book for you. Um, and so he emailed me and he told me how he really liked my uh, romance books with disability representation video. Um, and he was wondering if he could send me his novel. This is his novel all about his life with muscular dystrophy. And I'm actually really excited to pick this one up. I don't know when I'm gonna pick this one up, but I'm so honored that David reached out to me and wanted to send me his book. So I guess this is just David's story and him being diagnosed with and living with muscular dystrophy. So I'm very honored. So thank you so much, David, for sending this my way. I hopefully will be reading it very, very, very soon. Next, I have two books that were sent to me by Valentine PR. So thank you so much, Valentine PR, for sending these two books my way. I have read one of them and I have not read the other one yet. Um, so I have read A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. They sent me this chunky monkey. Both of these are chunky monkey books, y'all. These are both thick books. Um, but this is a fantasy paranormal book um, by K.A. Tucker that I I loved, I loved it. I had so much fun reading this. Uh, this will be featured in my uh, newest ARC vlog that will be coming out very soon. I have to read one more book for that vlog and then it will be out, but this book will be in that one. I adored this and I'm so glad I have this for my collection. So thank you so much to Valentine PR for sending this one to me. They also ended up sending me Lessons in Sin by Pam Godwin, my lovely friend Jen whose merch I'm wearing right now, <laughs> loves this book so much. Uh, this is, I believe like, a headmaster priest romance. I think this is a private school and the headmaster who is also a priest, maybe, gets with one of his students. Um, but I think she's legal, so there's like nothing wrong with that. I, I don't personally like romances where the, romance is not of legal age, you know? Um, and so I'm pretty sure this is fine. I think she's 18. Um, but yeah, it's an age gap with it being very forbidden. So Jen loves this. So I'm so happy and excited that Valentine PR sent this one to me. So. Thank you so, so, so much again. I'm waiting for my dad to walk away from my window with the weed eater. So the last book that I have to share with y'all that is not a mass market paperback is uh, this book, which is Between Dawn and Dusk by Jamie Schlosser. This is book number 0.5, a part of her like Fae series. I read the first one, which is, I don't remember the first the name of the first book. I think it's like 
The Curse of the Fey King or something like that. That's book one. This is the prequel to that all about the king's parents who you meet in book one. And so uh, this book was, I think, the only book out of the trilogy. I think there's three books out right now. And then this is the prequel novella. So that's not included in the trilogy. Um, this is the only book out of the series that is not on Kindle Unlimited. And so I was like, might as well just buy a physical copy. It was only six bucks. I got it. It's very tiny. I gotta read it very soon, but this deals with Fae and a Fae world. I think they're um, mates, like they're faded mates, but they're from rivaling families. So quite excited. Uh, I really recommend reading book one first and maybe going back to read this, but that's just my opinion. You can read it however you want, but um, I'm excited to read this one finally. Now, all the rest of the books are mass market paperbacks. That doesn't mean that all of them are historicals because a lot of them are, but not all of them. So my parents recently moved in the end of 2020. They ended up moving to a very small town. We used to live in Houston. Um, and so I'm staying with them over the summer. So during summer school, I would spend a lot of time at um, their library in town. It's a very small library. And so they had some books for free that I just brought with me. Um, they didn't want them anymore. So I took them home. Um, so these are all of them <laughs> and I just I picked anyone that I was like slightly interested in or had a pretty step back so this is my first Heather Graham book which is and one wore gray and I picked this one up because of the step back here because that is gorgeous I love that then we have another one because of the step back we have here comes the bride by Pamela Morrissey Morrissey that step back is really, really, really pretty to me. Then I have The Pleasure of Your Kiss by Teresa Medrios. Medi Medi I can't ever pronounce her name, y'all. Um, but I do own one of her books that I really liked. And so she's been going around the historical romance community. Um, so I thought I would pick up this book because it is for free, y'all. It's free. Then we have another one I picked up solely because of The Step Back. We have Rebel by Heather Graham because look at that look at that i know that people don't actually like this book so i don't know if i'm actually going to read this but i'm happy to have this beautiful book for my collection a lot of these still have the library sticker on there so i don't know how to get it off without ruining the book so they may just end up staying on there which isn't really what i want but um i'll take what i can get i guess <laughs> then i have this book which is turn up the heat by Lori foster chrissy ridgeway and Victoria Dahl. I think this is a bind up of paranormal romances. Um, I have read a Laurie Foster and I really liked them. Um, I think this is, maybe it's not Shifters. Why do I think they were Shifters? Cause I've read a Laurie Foster where it was a wolf shifter. So I don't know if that's what this is, but I saw Laurie Foster's name and it, I immediately knew who she was. So I just picked it up. And lastly from my library that I got for free was Bright Stars Promise by Karen A. Bale. Um, whenever I see these little stickers on here, I immediately think of Kayla from On the Fritz because she collects these ones. Um, and so I just had to pick it up because it looks so pretty. And then the back too. <sighs> Love it. Thankfully, this one did not have a library thing on the spine, but I think that was so pretty. So of course I had to pick it up. Okay, all of the rest of the books are from a local tiny bookshop in a town very close to my parents that I love. They have many discounted books. It's a small little bookshop that I love. You would have seen if you are one of my channel members, I did a vlog where I visited the store and that vlog is mainly where I hauled all of these. I read all of the summaries for all of these, except for a few, um, and I go in depth on all of those. So if you want to be a channel member, click the join button down below and you can get access to those vlogs. So the books that I actually haven't hauled in that vlog um, were these, these books. So I was gifted very kindly this last Christmas with, I think it's called Burn For Me by Alona Andrews. This is the first book in her Hidden Legacy series. And my lovely friend Ashley from Ashley Art Books, I love her so much. She ended up gifting me that book for Christmas. And so while I was at the book nook, which is the bookstore, um, I came across the whole rest of the series or almost, I think I'm missing one book. So I got all of these together at a discounted price. I think all of them were under $5. Some of them were three bucks. So I'm very excited. Book number two in the series is White Hot. Book number uh, three in the series is Wildfire. 3.5 is Diamond Fire. Book four is Sapphire Flames. And book five is Emerald Blaze. I think this one's just so pretty, y'all. So I don't know anything about this series, but uh, Ashley told me that I would love it. So I, I trust Ashley. And plus the first book takes place in Houston. 
and I don't know if all the other books do, but I've always been talking about how I want to read more books set in Houston because I feel like it's ridiculous how it's like the third most popular city in the whole entire country. And there are barely any books that take place there. Like all of them are set in New York or Chicago and like, where's Houston? <laughs> so I have two more groupings from the book nook. One is the mystery bag that I bought, that I unboxed in that reading vlog that I did for my channel members. Um, I got a mystery bag full of 16, I think 16 historicals. All of them are from uh, different authors. So there's never any repeat authors. They're all different authors. And um, I got them for like 15 bucks, this whole bag. Uh, so I'm very excited. And then the other grouping after that will be books that I picked out myself on that same trip, but they weren't a part of the um, bag. So for the mystery bag, I am just going to be listing them off for you um, because I already went in depth and talked about all the summaries in my weekly reading vlogs. So I'm just gonna hold up the book and tell you what I got. First is A Dangerous Love by Brenda Joyce. One Touch of Scandal by Liz Carlisle. Here is the pretty pretty step back for that. I love a good yellow dress on a step back y'all. Next is Winter Fire by Joe Beverly. Once more My Darling Rogue by Lorraine Heath. There's that step back. I've heard great things about this book. Everyone's like reading this one right now. Web of Love by Mary Below or Balog. I don't know which one it is. Ever, I don't think anybody really knows what, <laughs> which pronunciation it is. The Secret Passion of Simon Blackwell by Samantha James. I love her dress in that one. What the Duke Desires by Sabrina Jeffries. The Bridegroom by Joan Johnson. A Winter Scandal by Candace Camp. If He's Sinful by Hannah Howell. To Desire a Wicked Duke by Nicole Jordan. The Love Affair of an English Lord by Gillian Hunter. Pendragon by Catherine Coulter. I think this one has a step back. Ooh. There we go, another yellow dress. Everyone's having yellow dresses, I love it. How to Capture a Countess by Karen Hawkins. Sinful and Satin by Madeline Hunter. And lastly, part of that mystery bag, we have Too Wicked to Tame by Sophie Jordan. So if you wanna know any of the summaries for those books, be sure, sure to check out my weekly reading vlogs, or you can just go check out the summary for yourself on Goodreads, I guess. <laughs> so all of the rest of the books that I'm hauling are books that I picked out myself from the book nook. I have two Christina Dodd books. First, I saw this one, which is uh, The Prince Kidnaps a Bride. This is actually the third in a series. I didn't know that when I picked it up, but I picked it up and I just needed this book because of this step back, y'all. Look at that. Probably one of my favorite ones I've ever seen. It is beautiful. I needed it. So I looked it up on Goodreads, it's actually the third in the series. So I was like, hmm, might as well just go and find book number one and book number two. They did not have book number two, but they did have book number one, which is Some Enchanted Evening. Also look at this cover. Like, are you serious? And then when you open that up, excuse me, this reminds me of like Swan Princess here with Odette and Derek. Are you serious here? That is beautiful. I love, these are, oh, that's upside down. <laughs> these are really pretty. And so I need to find book two. Let me know if you like Christina Dodd's books because I wanna read these, but I haven't really heard anybody talk about Christina Dodd before, um, but I I needed to have these. And so I picked them up. I don't remember the summaries for these. I, I, I hauled it in that vlog. I think both of these are set in Scotland. I know this one is. And then this one, is about a prince and a princess. Yes, she's from Scotland too. So she has to like go back to her like country and she's escorted by a simple fisherman, but it's actually the prince she has been betrothed to in disguise all along. I'm sold, I'm ready. I then found this book. <laughs> this is called Charmed by Catherine Hart. I don't know anything about this book really. This just caught my eye because of this. Samantha from Books with Samantha, she, uh this book a while ago and I just I kind of wanted it ever since then and it was at the bookstore like look at, I just am enchanted by her popping up and disappearing y'all like it has this holographic stuff all over the book y'all this is I believe a historical time travel romance where she is from like I think the 1900s and she gets sucked back into way in the past so that's why she's like there and not there because she gets sucked back into time and then goes back or something like that. That's all I know. I then have The Princess by Claire de la Croix. I've collected all of the other books I think in the series, but I think this was book one and I never owned book one. And so I came across it at the bookstore 
and I needed it. I don't know anything about this. It's just, it's a part of the Bride Quest series and I own all the rest of the books, even though I haven't read any of the other books. Hopefully I love the other books. I think this book takes place in Ireland because this is about an Irish princess. I think that's all I know is that she's an Irish princess. That's all I really wanna know. I don't wanna spoil myself. I'm really happy to have this so I can finally read this series. The last historical that I have is In Bed with a Highlander by Maya Banks. Um, I mistakenly said in that haul video for my channel members that this was the second book to Never Seduce a Scott by Maya Banks, which I love and adore. It's one of my favorite books of last year, one of my favorite historicals of all time. I love it. This actually isn't the second in the series. That's a different book. This is just another historical that Maya Banks has written that I'm very excited to dive into because I loved Never Seduce a Scott. So I'm excited to have this one. I need more by Maya Banks in my life because I loved her writing so much. The last two books that I have to haul for you are part of a series. So I have um, Lord of the Fading Lands by C.L. Wilson. I've had that book for a while. I got that book from the same bookstore, but like a couple months ago. And then I finally came across book number two in the series and book number three in the series. I, again, this is another case where I have not read the first book in the series, but I still had to collect the rest of the series. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is book two. This is book number three. I don't know anything about these this, these books. I'm not going to learn anything about these books um, because they are in a fantasy romance series by C.L. Wilson. I think the first one deals with Faye. Really excited. I don't know if the other two do too, but I just needed these. This one is Lady of Light and Shadows, and this one is King of Sword and Sky. Excited, again, to have these for my collection. Uh, so whenever I'm done with Lord of the Fading Lanes, I could just like dive right on into these ones. So... There you have it. That is my very large book haul. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. <laughs> Again, be sure to check out all of the things that I talked about in this video. Be sure to check out um, Jen's merch line. Check out Spirit's Etchy Shop. Be sure to help support Emma Ham if you are able to. Um, I love her and I think she's an amazing human and writer. So um, if you want to support her, go on ahead. Also, don't forget to leave your Q&A questions down below for me. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.